Wireless networking is everywhere. In homes, offices, universities, and public spaces. But how does it actually work? In this crash course, we'll break down the key concepts of wireless networking, including Wi-Fi standards, frequencies, security, and troubleshooting. Whether you're preparing for your CCNA, CompTIA A+, or a university networking exam, this guide is designed to help you learn it fast and remember it longer. Wireless networking allows devices to connect to a network without using cables. Instead, it uses radio frequency waves to transmit data. Your devices like phones, laptops, or smart TVs connect to a wireless access point, which is often built into a router. That access point then connects you to the wider network or the internet. Wireless networking is based on the IEEE 802.11 family of standards. Each version improves speed, range, and performance. Here's what you need to know. 802.11b, 2.4 gigahertz, 11 megabits per second. 802.11g, 2.4 gigahertz, 54 megabits per second. 802.11n, dual band, up to 600 megabits per second. 802.11ac, 5 gigahertz, over 1 gigabit per second. 802.11ax, also known as Wi-Fi 6, up to 10 gigabits per second. Wi-Fi uses two primary frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz has longer range and penetrates walls better, but it's slower and more prone to interference. 5 gigahertz offers much faster speeds and is less crowded but the signal doesn't travel as far. Modern routers typically support both bands, so your device can choose based on performance and distance. Security is essential for any wireless network. Here are the four key protocols. WEP, obsolete and insecure. WPA, better than WEP, but still vulnerable. WPA2, Strong AES encryption. WPA3, the most secure, ideal for modern networks. For exams and real world setups, always go with WPA2 or WPA3. Wireless networks can operate in different modes. Infrastructure mode is the most common. Devices connect through a central access point. Ad hoc mode allows devices to connect directly to each other. Mesh mode uses multiple access points to form a single, seamless network. Several devices make up a wireless network. The router provides internet access and acts as the central connection point. Access points extend wireless coverage. Wireless NICs allow devices to connect to Wi-Fi. Repeaters and range extenders boost the signal to hard-to-reach areas. Here are common wireless issues and how to fix them. If you have a weak signal, move closer to the router or use a range extender. For slow speeds, switch to 5 GHz or reduce connected devices. If you can't connect at all, check your password or restart the router. These scenarios often appear in CCNA and CompTIA exams. Before your exam, make sure you understand the following. Key 802.11 standards and speeds. Differences between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Wireless security protocols, WPA2 and WPA3 are essential. Wireless modes, infrastructure, ad hoc, and mesh. Troubleshooting Common Connection Problems That's your crash course on wireless networking. You're now better prepared for CCNA, CompTIA, and university networking exams. If this video helped, subscribe to Knowledge Catch for more fast, exam-focused tech content. Leave a comment below with the next topic you'd like us to explain.